You've just graduated from college or a boot camp with a cybersecurity focus. Awesome. What are your next steps when you need to look for a job and once you find that job? Okay, just give me 30 seconds to pay the bills here. This video is sponsored by Atlas VPN. Click the link in the description below to get Atlas VPN for only $1.99 a month for three years with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You know, I actually use this product. I was recently researching a scam site called Tesla Trading, where cyber criminals use deep fakes of Elon Musk to convince people to send them Bitcoin. Can't make this up. Well, I use Atlas VPN to hide my location while researching this Russian criminal organization. Atlas VPN helps keep you safe online by building an encrypted tunnel from your computer to the public internet that hackers and rogue governments can't penetrate. So click the link in the description below to get Atlas VPN for only $1.99 a month for three years with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Thanks for sticking with me. So step one, certifications, certifications, certifications. Certifications. A degree or a boot camp certificate is great, but the cybersecurity field is growing so fast that some of the people who interview you may not even have any cybersecurity experience. So they rely on certifications as proof that you know what you're doing. Get your Security Plus certification as soon as possible. That's going to open a lot of doors for you. Network Plus might also be a good idea. My second tip is to know your worth. Go on a website like Glassdoor.com and take a look at the median salaries in your area for a junior cybersecurity developer. You can ask for whatever you want, but they're not going to pay you a lot over the median salary. And they shouldn't be paying you a lot under the median salary. Now, I'm from New Jersey, so I'm going to slip into my old accent for a second. I'm going to tell you this. Money is respect. If a company lowballs you on salary, they don't respect you. Don't work there. So you got the job. Now what? Well, the first thing you should do is start preparing for the next job. Take about six months to figure out what you're good at and what you like. Do not immediately start going to get your master's degree. Take some time to do different cybersecurity tasks and see what you enjoy. Because the master's degree you get may involve a discipline that you didn't think about until you actually perform that work. Do you like defensive stuff? Look into getting your CompTIA cybersecurity analyst or CYSA plus certification. Or maybe you like offensive stuff. Look into becoming a certified ethical hacker or get the CompTIA pen test plus certification. Your new company might even pay for the certification but give yourself some time and figure out what you like first. My next tip is financial. I want you to create two savings accounts. The first account is an emergency account. Put 10% of your money away into that emergency account every month. And yes, do this even before you start saving for your 401k. There's two reasons you wanna do this. The first is in case you lose your job. It sucks, but it happens. Companies downsize, things happen. If you have a cushion in your savings account, that's going to help you get through a lot of stuff. The second reason is in case your car breaks down. Now, if you don't commute to work by car, of course, feel free to ignore this advice. But you want some money in there for at least the first item, which is, God forbid, getting laid off. I would save until you have about $9,000 in there. I know that sounds like a lot, but when you've been laid off, believe me, it's not enough. Don't put any more than $9,000 in there because then you're going to start losing money on interest. You want to go and invest that. The second savings account is what you're going to build your new computer from. You're going to need to buy a new computer. You're going to need to buy an AWS subscription. You might even need to buy that expert version of VMware. You need all of these tools because you're going to have to do home projects. Work isn't enough. You need to do home projects, you need to do testing, and you need an AWS account or a computer that can run multiple VMs to try all this stuff out. And if your company won't pay for the security exams that you want to take to advance your career, pay for it out of this account. Now, if you have any tips for cybersecurity professionals who are just starting out, let me know about them in the comments. Maybe I'll make another video, and I'm sure these guys would love to read them. Thank you for watching.